Yo, 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 what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am back with another motherfucking video. Now, in case you guys have not heard, LeBron James, LeBron James signed a three-year contract to stay with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, how this news benefits LeBron James, the, C the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the NBA as a whole, I'm about to explain. Now, what this news means for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers gets to apply and associate a name that a lot of teams wanted to apply on LeBron James but just couldn't, and that word is security. They get to sign LeBron James, the greatest athlete on the planet, for more than one motherfucking year. So LeBron James is off the motherfucking market. So the Knicks, the Lakers say goodbye, bye-bye. Bye, Felicia, to LeBron James. LeBron James is off the motherfucking market for at least three years. Now, what this means for LeBron James, this is probably going to be LeBron James' last big major contract, okay? Now, it also means he gets to uh, chase a ghost in Chicago, and that ghost is the greatest player of all time, Michael Jeffrey freaking Jordan. So he gets to apply his energy towards that, maybe ring a, maybe win a ring or two, who knows. Now what this means for the NBA as a whole, this news is not no big threat news to the Golden State Warriors. They're not shaking, salting, or stirred about this news Best believe the Golden State Warriors are going to be in the contract. To, I mean, in the. Oh my God, let's rewind that for a minute. Best believe the Golden State Warriors are going to be in the finals two of those three years that LeBron James is going to be under contract with Cleveland. So it's a win win for everybody that's in attendance. It's a win win. For Cleveland, Dan Gilbert, and it's also a win for LeBron James. LeBron James. Now, what this also news also means that Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be cap strong because they're going to be owing LeBron James 30 plus million a fucking season. So they're not going to be able to have the flexibility to sign another big name superstar to maybe form a big four. Now, they could technically trade Kevin Love to another team. But why do that? Kevin Love, he still, as long as Kevin Love doing what he always does, and which is not that much, he's all, he's already overpaid. As long as he keeps doing that, Kevin Love has a roster spot. And you have to admit, Kyrie Irving, after hitting that big win shot, that last second shot, it only increases his fucking stock. He's not the second fiddle on that motherfucking team, okay? But, like I said, it's a win-win for Cleveland. Definitely for the fans of Cleveland, LeBron James, his hometown. The Cleveland Cavaliers don't have nothing else to worry about. Now, they are, all they have to do is add and subtract. Add and subtract on this roster. Now, J.R. Smith, what this means for J.R. Smith, we don't know. But best believe they haven't signed J.R. Smith yet, so... One have to question, do the Cleveland Cavaliers want J.R. Smith that motherfucking bad? Because if they really wanted him, he would be already signed to a motherfucking contract. So I'm thinking J.R. Smith is looking in the sky and thinking, I can probably get a little bit more moolah since I got a ring on my motherfucking finger. So I'm just going to wait this shit out for a little bit. I'm going to hold out. And if he holds out too motherfucking much, uh, J.R. Smith is going to be out of a roster spot. So say bye-bye to Felicia. Bye, Felicia. But, guys, tell me what you fucking think. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your motherfucking boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am motherfucking out. You guys out there have a great motherfucking weekend.